Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker, and I am truly sorry for the lack of videos, but there's a reasoning for it. As you guys should know, we have gotten a new camera that we were trying to work out the kinks with, and then we had to order a couple things, and it wouldn't import into like my editing program, and just a whole, it's a whole huge mess, but I think I finally got it done. However, though, however, when we recorded these videos we didn't realize how shaky the camera is so there's gonna be some parts that are very shaky there's gonna be some parts that are sitting still but we never put on the effect of the screen uh, shakiness we had that done now but for the next three videos or so you're gonna see some shaky parts and I do apologize something's gonna be zoomed in a lot closer than normal and hopefully you guys are okay with that but it was just too good of footage to not upload uh so just bear with us as we're learning this technology thing with cameras like me i'm really good with computers and other stuff cameras is just not really my forte you know i don't really know a whole lot about them <laughs> so i know a lot of you guys would you know still enjoy the gopro thing but you, as you guys know my gopro keeps getting overheated when we do storage units and, and even sometimes when we do what sold videos and it's very very annoying Whenever we used the new camera, we didn't run into any of those issues. So it would be really nice to stick with this if and only if you guys enjoy the quality and uh, the way things look. So just bear with me for the next two or three videos and uh, just tell me what you guys think. Comment down below the quality, shakiness, does it bother you guys, all that stuff. At least that way I have a general idea of how to fix things moving forward after the three videos. So uh, much love. Let's go ahead and roll it into the video. Yo, 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 what's good everybody? It's your boy Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker. And uh, this is actually the first video that we're filming with the new camera. You guys can't necessarily see it, but this is the camera that we ended up getting. It is the EOS R50. I don't know if it's any good, but maybe you guys could be the judge of it. Um, today is going to be a little bit of a different video. So it's not going to be a what's old video. It's not going to necessarily be like a informative video, but in a sense it is. Me and my wife today at 6.43 in the morning, we gotta go pick up the U-Haul at seven o'clock. And uh, pretty much all we're gonna be doing is, today is cleaning out the train unit. So for the clarification, all we're doing is going down there. We're gonna be splitting up everything 50-50 between me and my friend, leaving all the trash down there. And he said that he was gonna take care of the trash. And he said because, you know, me and the wife have been doing majority of the work and he would feel bad if I was 50-50 for the trash. So he was like, man, just go do your thing record have fun and uh, he'll take care of all that he said as long as i split it in 50 50 he doesn't care so i was like all right cool we can definitely do that today <coughs> i'm hoping to be done in i'm hoping to be done by two o'clock we get down there by eight o'clock it gives us about six hours i think i think that's doable so that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be putting you guys up on a tripod maybe doing some time lapses i'm not too sure again i'm learning a new editing software all this other stuff trying to produce better content for you guys with this new camera, I'm not sure how the quality is. You guys let me know down in the description, or I'm sorry, down in the comments or in the live chat. So with that being said, we're going to gather a few things up real quick, and we're gonna go ahead and go to the U-Haul. All right, guys, let's check it out. So we're using the new camera. <laughs> and uh, as you guys can tell by the intro, so we got a U-Haul today, and today we're gonna to be kind of documenting on how we kind of do storage units in general. This is gonna be the last little swing which is going to be good for the people who are, are trying to get into storage units and stuff. Um, if you look behind me, we're going to be loading up all the stuff that's going to be ours. We're just taking the train tracks right here. Over here we have the stuff that is good sellable stuff, like uh, the collectability stuff is what I should say. Um, this is right here is what's going to be split between me and my friend Keith. We still have a whole unit to go through. Then everything over here is going to be all home good stuff that we're going to split right down the middle. And uh, I'm gonna figure that out um, as we go. And uh, we've been here about 15 minutes or so. We got this much done. All this is gonna be trash. And uh, if you follow me, I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna do this unit. The best thing to do is whenever you guys do storage units, is get all the collectability stuff out. It, you know, it's also gonna depend on whether where the, uh, where you guys are. If you're two two hours away, two and a half hours away, 10 minutes from your house, whatever the case is. You know, if you're in the surrounding area, nothing wrong with renting out a unit for a month or two. Nothing wrong with that if you can see the money, uh, the unit getting paid for itself with all the collectability stuff. But the one thing I try to do is I try to get all the collectability stuff at you know every run that we do. Um, at this point in time, what we're doing is we're getting all the collectability stuff, putting them over here. Put all the other stuff that potentially could be money, like the home goods stuff, electronics, that type of stuff, we're putting them in one pile. 
and then we'll split that down the middle. And then, as you guys can kind of see over here, we're leaving kind of a, a, a corner where of nothingness, right? So as we go over here, we start pulling the boxes, we separate them, then all this is gonna be empty. So then once all this is done, we'll turn around here, and anything that's trash, we'll just throw it to the back of the unit. It makes it easier and sufficient that way. That way, whenever you get all the collectability stuff, everything that's salvageable or sellable, get all that stuff out of the unit, all the trash is in here, you call a trash guy up, they clean it out, you're good to go and you move on to the next item or the next storage unit. So, um, so yeah, we got a lot of work to do. And um, I mean, not, not necessarily a lot of work, but we definitely got a little bit of work. This shouldn't take that long at all. And then of course, separating it and then just kind of going through this stuff because we have no idea what's right here. <laughs> we have no idea. But right here, we have a generalization of what's here. There's a lot of home goods stuff, some train stuff, uh, a lot of train tracks as well. But yeah, there's just some good solid stuff in here, you guys. Um, if we find anything crazy big, we will show you. And I think what I'm going to do is get my wife to set you guys up somewhere to do like a time lapse of us doing this for like 10, 15 minutes. And we'll kind of go from there. Now cue the, the music for the wifey's organization skills. Alright you guys. We've been out here for about two and a half hours now and it's blistering hot man. Uh, let me see the camera, and then I want you to turn around. Right, look at this. Turn around. Right, look at this. Oh my gosh! Look at all that. Look at all that sweat. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we've been. The wife has been sweating too. Not just me. I've been. I've been working hard. She's been working hard. So basically, this is all the home good stuff he's taking. Again, I do. It's just gonna take way too much time to figure out. You know how to separate this stuff, right? It's gonna take too long. I don't know what's in half of it, obviously, except for the ones that show what it is. I just grab boxes, I put stuff off to the side, and that stuff sits, all the stuff sits. I do see like this thing right here, like an 18 piece cookware set, so again, that could be like a whole, huge home run, but I, again, I'm not too sure. Um, there's some pretty solid stuff in here. Um, another brand new Craftsman thing. Uh, this is what we have loaded up so far um, with the household goods. Again, I just I try to do the best of my ability, like we got a bread machine, he has a bread machine. Um, so yeah, I, again, I just, I just grab boxes. Um, some boxes are going to be shredded up, some boxes are going to look good. This set of boxes here, we're going to go through. This is the stuff that we have to split with all the train stuff. And then all this stuff is trash. Um, and then you come in here. Look at the massive dent we made, man. Huge dent made. This is what hard work does for you. Light. Yeah. <laughs> this is what hard work does for you guys. Oh, inside that big water dispenser, it was just a bunch of box line no stuff that we put over there. Um, but as you guys can tell, I mean, there's tons and tons of stuff. Like, look at all this. Epson Stylus Photo 900 or something. There's two of them. So, again, that would be like where I get one, he gets one type of deal. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, there's brand new stock pie. There's this Bachman thing that we saw at the very beginning of doing this unit. A lot of, a lot of stuff left. And, again, we're just throwing all the trash in the back of the unit. So, we're going to record for a few minutes. And uh, we're going to go through a handful of these totes real quick we were trying to be done by like 2 30 2 2 30 which we'll be done out of here probably around noon noon 12 30 somewhere around there but then by the time we get back to my unit unload all this stuff go drop out the u-haul it's probably gonna be i would imagine closer to four o'clock but it's okay that's why we planned this specific day to do all this um this thing right here is actually a smart splitter again this might be worth money wow this thing's heavy might be worth money but we're just gonna Give that to my friend. I don't even, I'm not going to check what this is. It's a uh, pan flipper. A pan flipper. There you go. He's going to get it. All right. Let's go ahead and kind of go through this stuff here. And okay. Cool. So this should be an MTH thing. Yeah, it is. Okay. 
very cool. Um, I've been giving him all these magazines and stuff. So yeah, there's a lot of diecast stuff in here, magazines. So I think this is just gonna have his name written all over it. Um, so we're probably just gonna give him this big old, this big old tote. I saw some books in here. They look like Harry Potter colors, <laughs> like low key. <laughs> well, let's see what it is real quick. Okay, so now. I saw the red and yellow. That's why I thought it was Harry Potter. <laughs> so, but it's those books. You got some vinyl records. That's kind of cool. Oh, I don't know if that's trained or not, but yeah, look at that. Very unique. Oh wow, yeah. Look at that. Nice transformer in there. Some stuff. So yeah, this is definitely a good little box. I think we sold. Uh, I've been, I think we've been selling these things for like $105 or $120. I don't remember, so yeah, it's a nice little box right there. We're just gonna give that whole thing to him. Matter of fact, this thing will be probably in used condition sales for like 60 bucks. So we can just say there's easily a minimum of $170 just in two items. So we will give him this tote here. Again, just to make it simple. All right, let's see what this one is. Uh, more train tracks so again there's not much value in here i think these are going for like 20 bucks a piece maybe 30 a couple other train pieces train tracks so yeah we might have to find like one more thing to go with this one for me but that one's pretty decent remote control switch this is interesting has Minnie Mouse on it. Huh. But it doesn't say Disney, it just says made in China, so I don't know. Um, a little bit of this. A little bit of that. A little plush here. Made in Korea. Doesn't have a, a gear on it. Hey, look, Sex in the City. Coca Cola thing. A few trestles. A couple other die cast things in here. Big brown box. Uh, I can't tell what that is, but yeah, we'll figure out which one this who who gets this one. Might be me, might be him. All right, big blue one. All right, more die cast. Okay, fresh lot turbo seal. Oh, a lot of sealed. Uh, that's really really light. Um, oh, these are stuff kits. Crash. So again, we won't put much value on this box, but one of us is just going to have to take that. Alright, a bunch of loose stuff. What is this? Knife. Maybe, maybe not. No, it's going to be some kind of book. That's a magazine. Alright, so yeah, there's some cool stuff in here. Bullseye. <laughs> yeah, these things are really light. It's almost like nothing's in here. But we'll open up one of these real quick. I was right. There's nothing in them. <laughs> that's all I'll say. It's like there's nothing oh, in them. Oh, that's funny. Trash, trash. So again, there might not be much money in this one either. There's nothing, nothing in that one either. Mm. A <laughs> uh, couple train stuff. Uh, travel drive I don't know so yeah I don't think there's gonna be much much value in this one even though there's gonna be a couple things in it that's good I got this little tote here or big tote I should say what is this it says eight piece stainless steel steak knife wooden gift box whatever that means <laughs> there's nothing Another empty in that box, box. Uh, there's definitely a train in there I don't want to undo it Spacecraft thingy. Miracle cut. I don't know. It's right there. Oh, there you go. Miracle cut. Nothing. A uh, little lubrication kit. There you go. Everybody needs a little bit of lube. Um, ow. But, uh, there's a few things in here. So, again, we'll figure out who's going to get that stuff. Um, but, yeah. All right. Now the big totes are done. 
Now he's got to do all the train stuff. We're going to get all that separated um, off camera because, again, it's really hot. I got a little under boob sweat going on. And, uh, yeah, we're working hard. And plus, we still got the rest of the unit. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to figure out who gets all this stuff, and then we'll be right back. All right, you guys. Look at that. Look at that. All right. So we got all of Keith's stuff right here in the front. And then, if it focuses back there, we got those pallets right there and all that back there is trash and everything. And it looks like a lot, but at the same time, it's half and half on what we got and what he got and everything. But we've got the U-Haul loaded up and everything. You got something to say? Yeah. When you look at like a lot of stuff on top there. Yeah. We found like 40-ish, 40 to 50 boxes of just train tracks, man. Absolutely crazy, but yeah, he, he's definitely got a lot of stuff left. We got a lot of stuff to go through, man. Again. Sorry, that was a little shaky. <laughs> yeah, normally, I won't lie. All the other times that we came down here, well, for the most part anyways, we would split everything down the middle, like look through each box and stuff, man. Today, <laughs> it's so hot, and I really want to get this done. But today, I literally just opened it up, Loose stuff, whatever, put it off the side. Oh, box up, put that in that, that pile. So I would do the box stuff, the loose stuff, home good stuff. All right, he takes that, I take that. He takes that, I take that. The old track stuff, I did split down the middle uh, because I know that's good. So if I know it's good, I usually split that down the middle for both of us. That way it's fair. But it's like, man, he takes a big piece, I take a big, uh, big piece. I take a big box, he takes a big box. And again, even if I come out on top or he comes out on top, it don't matter. You're making money, man. But again, that's the reason why we do these units from time to time. And it just goes to show you that you can make some good, good money doing it. Hello. Um, but yeah, so we work hard for you guys and all that good stuff. And that's why we show you guys, you know, for the most part, everything that we possibly can over here on the YouTube channel. I mean, like this sweat don't lie, you guys. I don't know if y'all can see that. Or the back, can you see the back? No, you're wearing no, black. No, wearing black shirt. So yeah, I mean, the sweat don't lie. Like, like look at the wifey real quick. Like, look at this. Like, look at her. She got the, she got the under boob sweat just like me. Look at that yes. back. Oh, I didn't even notice it was yeah. that bad. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, show me leg. She uh yeah. you know, got rough and dirt in it, but that's what we say, right? We work hard what? Play hard. Work hard, play hard. Look at that. She's okay. It's just a just a little scratch. The reason why it's bleeding so bad is because uh Blood pressure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've been we've been in the heat. So uh yeah. This is it for the unit though, you guys. I'm I'm a little upset because like you know, is is it? This then? No more train stuff. Well, I mean we're still gonna be listing it, but <laughs> but now what's the next thing we have to do? We have to go take this all to our unit. Yeah, so we're going to take this to our unit. So we're probably going to set up the camera. And um, I'll let you guys... Uh, hey, I'm out of my bed. <laughs> trying to get used to the camera. Uh, but now we're going to go to our unit and load everything. We'll probably do another time lapse for you guys to unload all that. And then whenever we get to listing it, we get to listing it, man. But that's going to be it for now. We'll see you guys at my storage unit. All right, you guys. Come on in. Come on in. We weren't going to do a time lapse, but we're so tired. We just want to get this stuff done. Uh, but you guys have never been in my unit, so all this stuff... Yes, um, I have. Oh, have they? Yes. Okay. Well, uh, these two little racks, that used to be over there, but these two racks right here, or two shelves, are listed. The rest of the stuff is stuff that is not listed. That just goes to show you like how how hard we work, even though it's kind of like we don't work hard because we have so much inventory. But everything along the sides are books. Ornaments are in the back, but... Uh, this is like numerous, or I think two loads from the train unit plus this one. Uh, as you guys can tell, there's tons of train racks, or yeah, train tracks everywhere. Um, and if you back out a little bit from there, you can kind of see how full um, our unit is. So look back at me. So yeah, this is how full it is, you guys. This is a 10 by 20, by the way. This is a 10 by 20, so yeah, it's going to be filled. We got a lot of work to do still, even though this may be the end of the train unit in general for like going down to the facility it's not the end of the sales though uh, we may or may not come down here with you guys with the camera um to show you guys what we're listing and finding and that type of stuff but for the most part you guys saw everything um exception of you know going deeper into the box i guess you haven't seen everything but when i say we're tired you guys we're tired we're tired we're almost done with the uh the u-haul though um, i told myself i wanted to be done by 2 30 today it's 1 45 it's not gonna happen but if we're done by four o'clock that would make me happy because me and the wife are going to get something to drink. We're going to go home. Probably order some food. What do you think? Order some food? As long as I ain't got to go get it. Yeah, okay. We're probably going to order some food. We work hard. We deserve it. 
Um, but uh, but yeah, that's my unit though, you guys. I'm sorry we didn't do a time lapse. We're just trying to get it done. Um, any any last words, Charlie? I'm freaking tired. I want to go home. <laughs> I think I'm done for the day. That's it. I'm out. Yeah. So uh, with that being said, the future me will take it away right after this. To tell you guys stats and everything. I guess the last stats of what we have. Um, but yeah. Gotta love resale, man. Much love. Future me, take it away. Alrighty, guys. So what do you guys think about the quality of the video, the shakiness of the camera? Let me know down in the comment section and or the live chat whenever you guys watch this video uh, premiere. Um, overall, on my side, the, the shakiness wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And then on top of that, the quality looks pretty darn good in my opinion. Um, if you guys notice in some of the part, uh, portions of the video where it kind of like there was some footage um, missing, and that's because there was because some there was two videos that were part of the footage from this uh, from this trip that got corrupted in the middle of transitioning all the uh, memory over here to my computer. It's unfortunate, it is what it is. At one part, you'll see the uh, the time lapse with me and my wife getting the boxes out of the unit, and then that next clip that comes out over, it shows her, me singing, right? <laughs> and then that next footage right there kind of showed a whole bunch of stuff loaded up in the unit. Well, there was supposed to be some footage right there, but it ended up getting corrupted, but it is what it is. So going moving forward this is the end of the train unit there's no more stuff to get out for us um and i think we did really really well with this unit again shout out to my friend keith for allowing me to go 50 50 with them because again this is just one another another blessing in my life to have um not only as a storage unit but also as a friend um you know he, he's just a really genuine dude and he um he allowed me to to do 50 50 with them and that right there is what i'm always grateful for is having good friends good times and good memories so um, going into the stats of this uh, storage unit now after we made our money back in about a month and a day um, I have not kept up with um, how much money we've made from this unit but it's probably along the lines of around six thousand dollars and uh, we have not listed train stuff in about two weeks going on three weeks and there's a reasoning for that because we've been working on the spare bedroom getting other inventory listed um, but actually starting tomorrow we should be getting back to the train stuff which is awesome I'm glad to get back on it because I've been I've been uh, itching to get back into the train stuff. Um, I will say we have over $18,000 listed still from the train unit. Uh, so pretty, pretty amazing stuff. And we have so much stuff in that storage unit. Everything that you guys just saw in this storage unit, in, in my storage unit is what I should say, we have not touched yet. So whenever this video is done, this video was done two weeks ago, going on, going on three weeks ago almost, uh, we have not touched anything on my unit. So we have a long way to go. Um, but as far as stats though, we're probably, we're probably right around $6,000 made on this unit. So we're, we're, te we're technically in the green on this unit and then the rest of it's going to be pure profit. Uh, just amazing, amazing stuff. We are always looking at storage units, you guys. Now I'm not telling you guys to get into storage units. Uh, I will say that if you guys are kind of on a downtime in the winter time or y'all just kind of running uh, out of luck or, or out of uh, ideas of how to source, man, just tackle one man it's it's a pretty amazing stuff i will say the past year and a half we have been crazy blessed with the storage units that we have found everything from those two big 10 by 30 units uh last year a lot of work yes but is it the profits are worth it and then going into uh this year where well, we found the uh the warner robbins unit right we found the the huge massive uh well i wouldn't say massive but the expensive nintendo stuff like the nintendo magazine that sold for 250 bucks and we paid 120 dollars for that unit alone so that one item doubled our money so crazy stuff and then of course this train unit is just absolutely a blessing and uh yeah but like i said we're always looking for units uh and i do encourage you some you know some of you guys if you guys are interested in this type of stuff i do encourage you to go out there and, and try to win one you know it doesn't have to be all the time just do it every, every now and then like if your garage shows are running slow thrift stores are kind of getting dried up you don't have online uh auctions going on around you try a storage unit worst case scenario put a little put about 100 bucks into it you might lose your money, you might not. Just I'm just saying, just dabble into a little bit of everything. Be versatile in the reselling business because the more versatile you are, the more educated you're going to be. And I will say that I probably have more knowledge doing storage units than I've ever done at garage sales because there are certain things that we found in storage units that I would have never thought about looking for at garage sales. So, and of course, it goes both ways, but you will learn very, very quickly and you will learn uh, a lot from doing storage units. Now, again, I appreciate all the love and support, man. We are almost at 8,000 subscribers. As of right now, we are at 7,919 subscribers. My birthday is August 31st, man. 
it, it'd be nice if we could hit 8,000 before before the end of this month. So <laughs> yeah, I'm turning 31, by the way, turning 31. Um, so uh, we feel good, we look good, and uh, we're working hard for you guys. So I appreciate you guys. I know this is a long outro, but I genuinely do appreciate y'all. I try to show you guys the right way to make, make money, and I'm sorry for the rambling. Much love. We'll catch you guys next video. It's your boy, the Georgia Pinker. Peace. I don't wanna wake up.